up in this curry vlog how did this river go from this to this let's find out good morning guys ah oh, i'm just waking up ah oh, so this is what my morning routine looks like when I'm in the Caribbean. The first thing I do is to go check on my mom. And I've already done so. <laughs> she woke me up at about five. That's her morning time for getting up. And I've already get her dressed. Now she's reading her Bible. That's her morning routine, guys. She reads for about half an hour. But because she's no, diabetic, I always have to check on her to make sure that she's not hungry and that her blood sugar is okay. Once I know she's okay, I went to open the windows and door. And yes, it's pretty noisy because I live next to the road. <laughs> Of course, I'm still in my PJs because I haven't done anything much yet. But this is a PJ from my dad. I think I wear all of my dad's clothes for sentimental reasons because I, I miss him. He's been dead for 26 years and I still miss him. Anyway, um, so now what I'm doing is to sort my mom's medication because... I am not accustomed to giving her her medication, so this is me getting acquainted to all the different tablets that she needs to take. So she needs her medication for her diabetes, for high blood pressure, for her Parkinson, and for her back pain because she fell and dislocated a disc in her back and it it's one of the main challenges that makes her immobile right now. So that's why she has mobility issues as well. So it's been really, really a struggle. So yeah, I had to sort these out. So now I am preparing her breakfast. She likes bread, but I've been getting her away from bread because it's bad for her. So I prepare her oatmeal every day with bananas. And yeah, so I've finished brushing her teeth. You don't want to see that. <laughs> and now I'm giving her her medication prior to her breakfast. But <laughs> my mom has difficulty swallowing the tablets. So what I normally do um, is to give her it with some tea. And tea is normally a leaf from local trees that grow around the area. Trumpet bush, moringa, fever grass, whatever it is that's available. Or almond milk and a little bit of Ensure. That makes her swallow the tablets pretty quickly. And yes, she can't feed herself because she shakes a lot. So yeah, I feed her. Or my sister feed her so yeah this is normally typically what morning routine is all about and yes guys I know that this is probably not so common in North American or European countries many of these countries this send their parents to homes so that they could be taken care of or they hire someone but in my situation I can do some hiring but it depends on what what my mom is comfortable with and at the same time traditionally it's known that the last child which I am takes care of the parents when they're older that's what it's been like and i am not living in the caribbean i live in canada so i try to go home every two years to help look after her and i know it's not ideal but it's the best i can do so after breakfast 
I let her digest a bit. Then we head to the bathroom and it's her bath time. So I have prepared a warm bath. And yeah, she loves to use these shampoos there. Smelling so great. Not. That's what we have and that's what we're using. <laughs> I love her hair. She has gorgeous hair. And I am trying to get my hair this color. It's just absolutely beautiful. The conditioner is in. Yeah, the bath is done. Some towel towel drying her here. One thing you need to know is that my mom loves a good massage. She wants you to stay in her head forever. And I don't blame her. Who doesn't? <laughs> Finding her outfit. Think I'll get her this skirt. Yeah, this should work. Let's put it on. So, yes, now I'm going to be braiding her hair and I'm just going to give her a different style today. She's always in those big plaits. So today I'm giving her cornrows and on the side. <laughs> when she was younger, she never loved her hair in cornrows. She's very traditional. But now, I guess she doesn't mind. And I love the way it turns out. <laughs> I think it's very beautiful. So she's fed, she's bathed, she's dressed, she smells yummy. <laughs> she That's her outfit of the day. And yes, the skirt is cotton. It's been around forever because my mom never got it. Even the top is cotton as well. So now today I'm waiting for my sister. Still in my pajamas. I'm here waiting on my sister to arrive. She should be arriving shortly to help relieve me. I think I see her coming. What took you so long? But, 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 I have a life for now. Yeah, we all do. My second mom, guys, she took care of me when I was younger and my dad was sick. And I also love when she comes because she brings roasted breadfruit. Guys, if you don't know what breadfruit is, oh, it's part of our national dish. And what's the other part, you might ask? Well, it's jackfish. And that's it when it's fried. <laughs> this is it when it's roasted. And uh, that's a whole nother process altogether. I, this is it when it's green and it had stayed a little bit <laughs> in the sun. But when it's really, really green, I'll try to find a picture to show you when it's really, really green, what it looks like. But this is after a day in the sun. <laughs> and this is what jackfish looks like when it's young and not fried and not eaten. And this is breadfruit on the tree. <laughs> and of course, yeah, here is a closer look at what it looks like. And this is when we actually roast it. We just throw a bunch of wood together, wood from any nearby places that you find it, and we just light a fire and padam, Jack is your uncle. And we roast it all over the Caribbean. But breadfruit is not indigenous to the Caribbean. Yeah, it's actually native or indigenous to places like New Guinea and the Philippines but it was brought to St. Vincent by this guy here Captain Bly oh god I have to give you a brief history 
So St. Vincent, as you know, is a British colony and the Queen sent this guy at one point to bring breadfruit to the Caribbean because it was cheap to feed the slaves to help with colonialism. So he brought it to St. Vincent in 1793, but prior to doing so, the crew on the ship mutinied and they kicked him off and he made his way back to Timor, but lots of movies are made about it, so go check it out. Whew, thank God that's over. So yeah, we roast it, we cook it, we fry it. My mom loves it. I love it too, but right now I'm going to have a cup of tea, some local tea, and I'm just going to go to my favorite little nook and just have some breakfast. For me, breakfast is fruit mangoes when i'm in the caribbean i eat fruits till there's no more but today is a good day i am actually not going to give my mom breadfruit today i'm going to give her some soup and yeah this is me feeding her Sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love you let's get back to the video <laughs> So yes guys, later my neighbor decided to turn up and by turn up, he turned up the river and the music. That's the before picture of the river. This is the after guys. Isn't it fun? Well, uh, environmentally guys, let's just say I'll have to have a chat with him with a lot of tact and diplomacy and in the meantime let me just pause okay just a little
me. Are you ready for brush your teeth? 